Dear Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And of course, share it with your friends. And with that, let's get to it. So dear Aries, watch yourself, you must have, like, you, mu you must uh, exercise some self-control in the following week. There will be a lot of things come into your life, a lot of action, a lot of information, a lot of phone calls, emails, people will, will uh, bombarding you with, uh, with their needs and wants. So you have to sort of find uh, the right balance, how to deal with everything, and how to stay and remain positive, uh, um, influential, and and um, have your life under under your own control. Otherwise, that could be too much. There will be new beginnings, so th there's going to be a lot of uh, um, things to consider. There will be a lot of things to comprehend, and a lot of things to deal with. There is emotional. Um, um, opportunities that come your way and as well as, as um, um, a new understanding, a new opportunity in the intellectual way as well. So you might discover something and that discovery lead you to have more information, more things to do, more tasks, more um, like more obstacles that you have to go through. So it seems like this week the main focus will be on your emotional um, state in your mind. There could be uh, some offer, romantic offer come your way. And that's going to be in your mind constantly. You might even have more than one. Um, and, and you will try to, to figure out which one to take. So I have here the illusion and delusion card. And there's also the card that talks about like, you know, you want too much maybe. You want all the all the boxes to be ticked when it comes to someone walks into your life and and you start exercising this. Oh, let me take this box. Let me take this. Is this person ticks this box or not? And instead of looking at like, oh, finally, you know, something is coming to my life that I've been waiting for. So now I feel emotionally stirred, emotionally charged, and this is a good feeling. Um, that. That emotion might not be completed, completely developed, might not be fully uh, um, um, acknowledged by you, but there is something. So it's a good start because you were in the dark for a long time now. You were, you were in the position where you didn't know um, what's the right direction. So you were just going with the flow in that sense, not too fast, not too slow, not too far, but you were a bit like, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, but uh, but at the same time, well, I, I'm not sure if I if I'm heading to the right direction. Now the direction is um, um, in a way, it's gonna be a bit more more um, certain. And why is it happening? Is it it's happening because the universe is saying again to you that is it did say before that take the matter in your own hand. Whatever is that, you are your own boss in that sense. You are uh, in charge with your own life. So don't wait whatever outside to come in your, uh, in your way or in your world. Take the initiative. So finally make that decision. So being, um, um, like being that person who cannot decide what exactly I want. I don't know which, 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 which will make me happy at the end. Instead of trying to go with the flow and pick one and be open, be honest and be straightforward about it. If you need to open your mouth and say, this is what I want or this is who I want or this is the way I like things, then um, you will be still waiting because the universe is not going to give you anything. Uh, because if you are uncertain, unsure about, I don't know what I want. 
I don't know, I, I don't know, I will wait and I see the night have to be a day very soon and you are the one who is walking towards the sun. So, so you have to get through to the other side and that will, um, things will make sense at the end. So even if you don't see now how things will materialize or how, the, how that offer or that opportunity will become reality or how far that will take you, it doesn't matter as long as you are certain and you, you take the strength to make that decision. If you make the decision, the decision is the most important thing and you take the responsibility to make that decision and that's already a step forward. It's a growth. And now you decide about your future and not just future in this life, but towards eternity. I've got two cards for you and both of them have the infinity symbol. Both of them are there. Why is it important? It's important because you are a much more holistic being. You can't just look at your life and say, well, this is what I've done in the last five years and 10 years. I'm a mother, I'm a father, I'm a, 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 a working professional or a teacher or a student or whatever is that. You have to look at yourself spiritually as like, I'm an entity, I'm limitless, I'm abundant, and I live forever in that sense. So what to do now to make myself uh, available and how to take myself into the next level in a spiritual development way. And how you're gonna find it? You're gonna find it inside you. You know that exactly. You might have to calm down a little bit and come <coughs> and evaluate the things you are dealing with, evaluate your feelings and make a, a, constant, a conscious decision on what exactly you want. Because everything is on the table for you. You want love, you want uh, responsibility, you want more finances, you want um, um, and spiritual enlightenment or you want career, it's up to you. It's all on the table for you. However, the one who decides about which direction you take is yourself. So start looking everywhere and start focusing your, your attention to the thing you want. And if it's this relationship, this is uh, uh, something that makes you fulfilled, then this is a good week to think about it and to sort of um, narrow it down and maybe open up because there could be a potential offer, a potential um, opportunity on, uh, on, that, on that factor. Work is work. So you're going to keep doing it, you know, the career and the business and whatever you are you're doing is, is always going to be part of your life. So you don't have to uh, um, sort of worried about it, you know, it, it's going to happen. You keep working, you keep pushing, and then you're going to have the result. So just keep, keep, uh, keep doing what you are doing because that's good work. And if you are a bit tired, if you are a bit uh, overwhelmed, okay, fine, you know, you can, you can, uh, um, you can step back a little bit and, and, and relax because victory is on its way. So it's not like if you step back, then you lose everything, all the work you have been put into it. No, it's actually, you're going to look back, you're going to see holistically how everything is working. And then you might realize that actually you are further ahead than not uh, behind uh, the schedule that you have created for yourself. You changing your perception will be important looking at things, as I said, in a more holistic level, looking at things in a more sort of what's good for you in totality. And you have to be really rational about, about that. You have to be really logical and, and really creative. So you are very, you are very precise, very um, uh, being able to be very sharp and, and, and have the edges because that's where, where the important comes those edges makes the difference how sharp you are how how um, uh, how able you are to make those very fine lines like imagine you are a surgeon you can't chop around it has to be so precise so this is what what's in your life right now you have to be so precise because the, the difference will be huge live life or death or happiness or unhappiness, joy or, or um, um, 
disappointment or fulfillment or nothing. So you have to be really precise. And if you are very precise and then you're going to end up victorious, you're going to end up having the relationship you like, the connections you like, the love you want, the abundance, the wealth that you wanted to create will be there for you. So in all aspects of life, you can have what you want if you are very precise and know exactly what you want. And with that, dear Aries, hope you enjoyed this video so far. Please hit the like button, leave a comment below. Does this resonate with you at all? How do you feel about it? And now let me give you a couple of um, uh, cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So what's the message for Aries? What to focus on? Believe in wonders. Things can happen for you, with you, around you, even if they aren't logical, still, they can happen. There's a healing chaos. So in this case, I think you might have to create a little bit of a healing chaos, but this is a calculated risk. So you decided that, you know, I'm going to let things run a little bit um, um, uh, in a different way. So I, 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 don't, I don't try to influence everything around me. I let things happen and let's see what comes out of this. So that's good. It's uh, practicing that, um, that sort of uh, skill is a good thing. And then you have gateway. In many of the, of the readings uh, this week, it comes out the gateway. So it seems like we are at a point where it's time to go somewhere, a different direction. And you haven't decided which direction to take yet. And this is why this is important. So you have to, you have to choose a path. You have to choose a path and be really precise about what path to take this week. Okay? And now, finally, let me give you a romantic oracle card. So, dear Aries, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and, possible, and possibilities for your life. So, exactly, changing your perspective. Create room for something new, because it will come uh, if you have the room is ready for you to take on something new and with that i really appreciate you being here thank you for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one bye thank you guys for watching my videos um please check out the links below in the description box you can get some nice little uh jewelries from the onyx heaven it's a it's a small family shop so every support is uh, appreciated thank you